So due to popular demand on my channel throughout the comments and some of my other videos, a lot of you guys are asking, why would you grab the sleeve? If I post on the chest, I can control the person better, right? Well, that's not exactly true, okay? Having control of the sleeve can lead to greater success and easier randori sessions. And you'll find that your throwing ability will skyrocket if you're able to get that sleeve. It's actually one of the secrets a lot of international judo players have and what they attribute most of their success to, and I'm one of them. So let's get into the video. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about how we can control the sleeve and why it's so important. A lot of people in the comments in some of my other videos are talking about, well, if I post on the chest, it allows me to control my opponent's body more, right? If I'm holding him by the chest, technically as he tries to move around, I can control him really easily. It's not, it doesn't take that much strength, it's not that difficult. But what's more important is being able to control the sleeve, okay? If I can control this sleeve, and I get a good solid grip and he can't break it, right? That's the important part is he can't break it and you can control it. He might be able to move in and out, right? He can get close to me and he can, now back up, and he can back up and he can shuffle left and right. But what he can't do is he can't turn his back to me because when he turns that way as a righty, I can prevent that with that sleeve grip while being able to turn in on any of my throws, okay? So that's value number one, is as I grab his sleeve and we're moving around and we're doing judo, if he ever tries to turn, he can't do it because I'm able to stuff this behind his back and prevent my right-handed player from turning to his right. Now, if I'm fighting a left-handed player who throws in this direction over here, I don't want to just come out and grab the sleeve because now he can just step across and he can throw me with sayos, tayos, uchimadas, all that fun stuff because I left that open to him to attack, right? I don't want to come out here and then get left hand stance and get into a one-on-one -on -one battle where he all of a sudden throws his hand and then he can come in on his attack. It's not ideal for what we want to do, right? As a left-handed person, you can actually come out and post here on the chest because when he turns this side, I can prevent that action. The downside to the chest being your first grip, the only downside is if he goes Maki Komi the other way and throws that hand oh, come on, the other way, over the top. Yeah, I can actually get pulled off balance, okay? So if I come out thinking, oh, double chest grip because I can control the chest and he grabs my sleeve and he goes Maki Komi, he can actually lock my hands up and still get a good, solid attack. He may not score, but it'll be a solid attack. And this is where the sleeve comes into play as a left-handed, right-handed matchup. And it was something I did a lot in my career. When he's left-handed, we always circle to our right, and I come out and I steal the circle, and I steal that sleeve grip because now when he turns to his left, I can stuff it behind his back. Now I can put my other hand on the E, make a change of my grip, and then look to throw my partner, okay? So where you put your hands on the gi is super important. Remember, as a right-handed player, that sleeve is the most important thing because when I'm staying here, he tries to throw me to the right, he can't do it, right? Because I'm staying here. If I post on his chest, and he posts on my chest, and he throws that hand, he goes, I can get thrown, which I've seen happen even to high-level judo players, okay? And the same thing is grabbing on the chest. No, by the way, sorry. If you grab on the chest, you're fishing a one-on-one -on -one battle here where you're trying to get the sleeve, not get the sleeve. And if he throws that hand, boom, you can get thrown for a palm really easy. So make sure you're putting your hands in the right place and let me know what you guys think. So there you guys go. It's a shorter video today, but it has a lot of value, especially while you're trying to grip and maintain position while you're doing randori or even just drills inside the dojo, okay? Being able to stay on the sleeve and being able to grip the sleeve is one of the secrets that a lot of top judoka have on the IJF circuit. So I hope you take advantage of this knowledge and you're able to apply it to your judo. And if you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. We really try to get at least one video out Monday through Friday.